Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren. This is Flat Car Motor Rim. So, I've got a feature car for you today, but with a difference. So, we all remember our first car, regardless of what it was. You know, it was your first initial taste of freedom and, you know, hitting the road by yourself. You know, it's one of the best feelings as, you know, as a driver, you know, where you started your, where you started your motoring journey. And regardless of what car you had, you know, the open, you know, the open road and, you know, like you say, the freedom to just go and do what you want, when you want, with who you want. You know, it was one of the best feelings in the world. So, like I said, we all remember our first car, but... Obviously, however long ago, obviously, that was, obviously, it's probably no longer with you anymore. And that got me thinking, what would it be like to go and drive your very first car 15, 20, 25 years on? For me, it's 15 years. I've been driving, you know, I've been driving cars for 15 years. And I've not ever experienced my very first car since then until now. So you can see where this is going. So yeah, today, for the first time in 15 years, I'm gonna get a chance to drive my very, very first car. I'm excited, let's go. So before I forget, Flat Cat Motoring obviously is an ambassador for 92 Automotive. Automotive shoots, automotive merch, great selection of stuff, really, really good photography packages. Mel's a very, very talented photographer. Sorry, I can't even let you speak this morning. So yeah, go and give her a page of like, go and give her a follow, and uh, go and check her website out as well, and I'll put a link in the description of this video, okay? So, let's crack on, and let me introduce you to my very, very first car. Let's go. So everybody, welcome to my first car, the Vauxhall Corsa B. So guys, this is a Vauxhall Corsa B 1.2 from 1997. Now, obviously there was quite a few uh, different variants of like engine sizes and things like that, but this is pretty much the basic spec car or one of the very one of the very base spec cars that were available so this is a 1.2 8 valve and obviously they did a few different engine sizes they did um they did a one liter 12 valve variant which was a three cylinder obviously the 1.2 they did a 16 valve but obviously in uh, a bit later on Obviously, did a 1.48 valve and a 16 valve, and then on a 1.6 for your GSI. So yeah, under the bonnet, obviously, that is the uh, 1200cc engine. It's very, very clean under here. This is probably one of the cleanest examples of one of these cars around at the moment. Like I said, a lot of people keep, you know, obviously like the more high performance stuff, but because this is very basic, this car has had one, one owner from new. It's got 42,000 miles on it, which I will show you uh, as proof in a minute. It's been garaged all its life. And I mentioned it's got full, uh, full uh, service history as well. Every MOT is in the uh, service pack. We just have a look under here. Obviously, excuse the leaf that's there, but just look inside there. All the paint and everything still in the arches. There's no rust at all. What a fantastic little car. 
don't know if you can see it, just check inside like where the scuttle is and everything. It's it's such a little time warp car, this thing, it really is. It's fantastic. Even going back even going back 15 years ago, mine was never this good. Never this good. It's um <laughs> it bringing it's bringing back um a lot a lot of good memories this to be fair i'm gonna take a look inside so there's no central lock-in we've got manual windows there's no power steering there's no abs just have to sit down in here i'll show you the mileage Forty-two thousand three hundred and three from new so the only thing that isn't standard about this is the stereo, upgraded stereo for uh, Bluetooth, and obviously we've got a little microphone up here as well. But it's you know it's a perfectly usable. It just makes it a bit more usable for modern stuff, you know. The interior is very clear. It even smells like an old Vauxhall in here. It's great. These back seats like they've never been sat in. Even the condition of the steering wheel, you know, it's not worn at all. I don't know if you can see that. And focus keeps dropping out. It's fantastic. I'm just going to start her up a minute so you can. Uh... Obviously, if you're familiar with uh, Vauxhalls, obviously, you know, obviously, they're right for tapping and stuff but I'll tell you what it runs like a new car it's like a like a brand new sewing machine it's it's fantastic all right so sat inside and <laughs> it's amazing how much memories come back you know what I mean it's um it's fantastic, you know, it's like you're 17 again, you know. What a special little car, for me anyway, you know. Yeah. Okay, right, so, we're going ready to uh, have a little drive now, so, um, yeah, let's go and see what it's like to drive your first car. Got no power steering or no ABS, so obviously need to uh, obviously bear that in mind. Even the, even the tick of the indicator is like you know it's just like oh I remember that. <laughs> It's great, it, absolute credit to its owner, you know, it drives like a brand new car from 1997, you know. All right, there's no power steering, but it doesn't matter, you know. There's nothing knocks, nothing squeaks, nothing rattles. It is honestly like driving a new car. It's, it's fantastic, you know. Potentially, this could be one of the best examples of this this car, you know, from this era, still around today. In fact, I'd probably go as so far as say it is probably one of the best examples. It drives really well. It's surprisingly nippy, actually, considering, you know, it's a small-engined car, 
you know, but there's nothing to it, you know, you get nothing in the way of creature comforts, you get, you know, no electric windows, no air conditioning, car work. But it doesn't matter because, you know, it was a, it's a basic car from the 90s. Yeah, cannot, cannot fault the way it drives, you know what I mean? I think never felt that, well, you ever drove this well, you know, everything feels as it should. There's no, you know, there's no knocks, there's no rattles. It's amazing to think that this car is 26, getting on for 27 years old now, and it's, it's, um, it's remarkable how well it's survived, you know? It's, um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Like I said, you don't get anything in the way of, you know, creature comfort, so there's no air conditioning, um, you've got manual windows, um, no, even got electric mirrors either, and no power steering. But you know, somehow it doesn't matter because it's basic and it's, it does what you expect it to do. You know what I mean? It's really, um, yeah. It's, a, it's everything I hoped it would be because, you know, 15 years on driving a car that you very you first started in, you think it's going to be hideous and terrible, but actually it's, it's really not. But for me, this, oh yeah, I mean, it's my first car and everything like that, I mean, you know, but I do have a lot of emotional attachment to these cars because obviously my first car was bought by my dad, you know, when I was, you know, when I was young and, you know, we were doing it together as a, you know, little project that, you know, we like to do. And sadly, obviously, during that time, he fell ill and obviously passed away. And the project was never finished and eventually it was scrapped because I didn't have the knowledge or the capabilities to do it. And um, I've always uh, I've always felt guilty about not finishing it because I should have finished it. So um, yeah, to me, the course would be it's all right. It's a good little car. So today, obviously, I've had a chance to drive my very first car again and it's amazing what memories come back you know that first essence of getting on the road by yourself and going somewhere with your mates on like a cruise or a long drive somewhere or you know your first holiday that you go on by yourself you know your drive to you know Cornwall or wherever it is you go and it's um yeah, obviously for me as well, it's the memories that you have with your loved ones that are no longer with us. It's a special little car. It really is. I like it. I really, really like it. I mean, a lot of my friends have Fords. Like, you know, Ford Fiestas and Escorts and Focuses and other things like that. You know what I mean? But this is what I had, you know? This was my entry into the motoring world. Yeah, it's been um, it's been an emotional uh, emotional reunion actually. To be fair, because it's um, so many memories, like you know, from all sorts of things. Obviously, what I've told you, obviously about about my dad and um, 
yeah, obviously your first sense of freedom and things like that. It's been a, um, yeah, it's been quite an emotional one for me, this one. It's, um, yeah, this has been a, uh, a real, like, kind of, it's been a really good experience for me to have the chance to actually drive one of these and, you know, to feel that, that sense of driving your first car again and, you know, bringing all the memories back from, you know, our loved ones that are no longer with us. It's, um, yeah. I really, really like this little car. I really, really do. As we've proved many times, you don't need to have loads of power in a car to have fun with it. You know, just take, you know, take Reese's Metro, for example. You know, we've been, in loads, we've been on loads of adventures with that. And, you know, we've had the best fun doing it. So this car was for, was for sale until very, very recently until I bought it. And the reason I bought it is, well, I've got two reasons why I bought this car. Number one, I wanted to feel or what it, what, what it felt like to actually drive the first car again after 15 years and driving loads and loads of different things, you know, from newer stuff to older stuff. But you never forget your first car. And the second reason is to, I wanted to finish the project that me and my dad started. I always regret not finishing it, you know. Obviously I was young, I was, you know, I didn't have the knowledge, I didn't have the skills, and I didn't have the contacts for necessary people that I would need to finish it. And I've always kicked myself about it. So, that's why I bought it. It's to finish the project that me and my dad started all those years ago. And actually, you know, I can, you know, I can say, I can, I can say that I finished our project. So yeah, the course would be, for me, would always be how I remember my first driving experience and some of the best memories I had with my dad. So that's the reason that I bought it. So guys, I want to thank you all for uh, obviously joining me on this uh, this little reunion of um, this little car. And yeah, welcome everybody to the new project car. Plenty of content obviously will be available on this. We will be uh, we will be doing things like you know modifications and upgrades and things like that. Obviously when the uh, obviously when funds allow us to do that. Um, so yeah, obviously she'll be uh, going undergoing some changes. Obviously the show season is nearly finished now for this year. So obviously over the winter we'll be uh, looking at doing some uh, doing some bits and pieces. Um, obviously plenty more content coming obviously there's you know loads of stuff happening over the winter so um yeah the project car will get its own little sort of like playlist series if you would um so yeah looking forward to getting into it for all of those who've stayed to the end and listened to me waffle on about you know emotions and everything like that thank you very much we really appreciate it um remember obviously if you're new here hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, and um, yeah, check out obviously some of the other stuff obviously that we do. We've still got loads coming up. We do, you know, we make content all year round, me and Mrs. Blackcap, and obviously you uh, have various people who contribute to the channel as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care all, and we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.